the interface between government and, and um, commerce essentially was where all our best scandals would be, yeah. from PFI to tax to the works. It's the fact that the public is paying, always, um, for the risks which supposedly private enterprise is taking. It is absolutely extraordinary. PFI itself is one of the great scandals. Um, this idea that you outsource everything, and we're beginning to see bits of it fall. I mean, Carillion, I mean, was the idea that you outsource every single function down to the point where a cleaner was having three separate companies dealing with paying her 35 quid a week, one of which along the way was based in the Cayman Islands. Yep, you know, th yep. this is madness. And that sort of, I think, um, grotesque, um, you know, it's, it's, it's capitalism um, with its worst face on, that we have either ignored or just come to accept as standard. And I think that will stop. I'm trying to find out anything, really anything now, about that interface between public and private money, you're just told it's confidential. You know, how much does this hospital con to cost to run? You know, I'm afraid we can't tell you that. Why not? Well, it's owned um, by a private company. How much, you know, does it cost the parole service um, to supervise two or three? Ex I'm afraid we can't tell you that. This budget, um, the Chancellor said, this PFI, Public Finance uh, Initiative, it doesn't really work. Um, and I went back and I thought, well, we've been saying that for 24 years. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's just, it does become funny um, <laughs> when someone suddenly says, well, you see, what happens is that the public has to take the risk and private firms take the profit. Yeah. That doesn't seem very fair, does it? <laughs> You think, oh, God. Doesn't that depress, <laughs> doesn't that depress you? <laughs> it's sort of depressing, but um, in the grand scheme of things, um, if we don't have any more of them, that's good news.